Good morning, third and fourth graders. So today's lesson is gonna be a mixed up animals lesson. So there's actually two parts to this lesson. The first part is there's a video on YouTube of a book that you can go and watch. It's called Mixed Up Animals, um, or The Mixed Up Chameleon is the actual name of the book. It's by Eric Carle. You probably know it or seen it before. And it's about a chameleon who wants to be all different kinds of animals and gets really mixed up. So go check out that book and then come back and we're gonna go ahead and do a drawing lesson. So if you saw in the mixed up chameleon, he turned into a whole bunch of animals. So I want you to think of three different animals and you're going to mix them up to create a new animal. And this could be any three animals you want. They could be animals from that live on land, that live in the sky, that live in the water, anything you want. So I'm gonna start with a um, I'm going to start with, mm, I didn't really think about this before I started. I think I'm going to start with a dog. So I'm going to start really lightly. So you probably can't even, oh, I guess I should draw a little darker so you guys can see. So I'm going to start with a head of a dog and I'm going to do droopy ears on my dog. Okay and his nose and mouth. Okay, and his eyes. So there we've got the basis of my dog head. And then I think I'm gonna actually give him the body of a giraffe because we're gonna say that my dog wants to see really high up in the air. So I'm gonna give him a really long neck. And then I'm gonna do an oval body. Okay. So he's got the head of a dog, a neck of a giraffe, and to show it's a giraffe, I'm actually gonna put a little bit of pattern on there so we can see that this giraffe has his pattern so we kinda know it's a giraffe neck. Okay, and then I think I'm gonna give him for his Instead of legs, I think I'm gonna give him some fins. So he's like a fish body. So I'm really mixing it up here. So I'm gonna do, coming out of his side, I'm gonna do, oh, that kinda looks like a wing. That doesn't look like a um, fin. So let me do a fin that's coming out one side. And then maybe he has a tail that he can swim with. So I kind of think of this as he can swim in the water, he can look up really high. So there is my dog head my giraffe neck and my fish body. Now, because he doesn't have legs, he can't really live on land. So he's gonna live in the water. So I'm gonna draw his habitat. I'm gonna do some, wa some waves here. And down here, I'm gonna do some seaweed. And maybe some sand here at the bottom. Okay, maybe some coral sticking out. Maybe there's some really little fish here. Swimming around him. Okay, so I've got the basis of my animal done. Now, I think I'm going to outline everything in black marker before I color. 
Okay. Now I just finished outlining my drawing. So I've got my dog, my giraffe, and my fish put together. And I could choose to leave it all black and white now or I could color it. It's up to you. So here is my finished mixed up animal. So I did a dog, a giraffe, and a fish. So I hope you guys take some time to figure out your animals and draw them out and color them if you need ideas for what animals look like. Remember you could search Google or look for animal pictures. And then when you are finished, please take a couple minutes and post this on Twitter, or you could even email me. You could do EagleViewES at Twitter or EVOrganizedArt at Twitter to tag me so I can see them, or you could email me at EVSmith4 at FCPS.edu. I hope you guys are having great fun at home working on your art. Thank you.